Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century, and welcome to my full review of these speakers right here. These are the Maki CR4X multimedia monitors. So to get started, these speakers are available for $149.99 in the US, or if you want to pick up the Bluetooth-enabled version, that's $20 more, and they are also available ranging from 3 to 8 inches in size. When we take a look inside the box, we'll only find the speakers themselves, as well as the cable that connects them both, a power cable and also a 3.5 mm to chinch cable, which is used to connect these speakers to your computer or also your smartphone if you still have a headphone jack. But one thing is missing and this is the isolation pads that were included with the CR4s that were made out of foam. So we don't have any isolation between the tabletop and the speakers and they're also not angled the right way to our ears or our head. Now they're rather targeting our stomach which is definitely not the right placement. So we'd have to pick up this isolation from separately which is around 10 to 15 dollars. In terms of build quality, they are still very solidly built, but the quality isn't quite as good as on the CR4s, at least in my case. In terms of design, they look pretty similar to the predecessor, but we now we have the green accent here around the entire front of the speaker, instead of having that around the drivers themselves. I personally prefer the design of the CR4s, especially in the limited edition that was available, where the accents were silver instead of green, because I think that's a more universal fit for most setups. Here with the iMac, I think the green just looks out of place and silver would be a much better choice. I quickly also want to talk about the controls and ports. Here on the right side, we have the volume knob. Then below that, we have the headphone jack and also the on and off indicator. On the back, we'll have TRS ports, a chinch port, also a 3.5 millimeter jack, aux input, then also the switch where we can choose whether we want to have the powered speaker on the left or right side, and then also a dedicated on and off switch. Now, let's talk about the most important aspect of any speaker, and that's of course the audio quality. And this is also where I thought, oh, that would be an easy review. The CR4s were one of my favorite speakers of all time, and now they have to be even better, right? Unfortunately not. Let me explain you why. Here on the front we have the on and off switch. So when you then turn it and the speakers turn on, you see the indicator light uh, turning white. It takes a few seconds until they actually are able to play back any signal. And now they're on and now you can probably already hear the acoustic noise. There's a constant acoustic noise level when you turn these speakers on and it doesn't matter at what volume you are, no matter if you're at 5% or 100%, it's always there, it's always annoying and it's always pretty loud. And honestly, I've never experienced anything like that on any other speaker before and this is why I personally always ended up turning them off pretty fast again after listening to anything. And yeah, you might not hear this acoustic noise as much if you're listening to music, especially at higher volumes, but once the music stops, it's just so apparent and so annoying that I honestly can't recommend these speakers to anyone, even though they produce nice sound, a very good soundstage, just like the CR4s, but the acoustic noise just destroys the entire experience. And for me, this really is a deal breaker and also the reason why I can't recommend these speakers to anyone. So. I think that you would actually be much better off with purchasing the CR4s instead of these, especially because they're also cheaper and perform better in my opinion. And this is also not just an issue with my unit right here, there are also other reviews online with other people who are complaining about uh, this acoustic noise. So I think, I don't know, it was just a big mishap by uh, Mackie to release them in this uh, state because to me they're basically useless and I'll also end up returning them. So, in terms of my verdict, you can already tell that I'm pretty disappointed with these speakers. I had high hopes, but I was completely let down. Again, I can't recommend them to anyone. Check out my link in the description below to the CR4s, which are much better value in my opinion. And I just thank you very much for watching. I hope that you still enjoyed the video. Unfortunately, not all products can live up to our expectations, but then it's good that I just get the chance to warn you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.